Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm back with the internet. Let me tell you, yesterday was kind of a strange day. I was answering all my comments, and I the dog starts to bark, and somebody's at the door. I went to the door, and it was the fire chief. And he says, um, I'm going to have to turn off your power, and I'm looking, wondering why, and then I notice hanging by the door is wires from my house and then I looked over and I go oh my goodness the telephone pole fell and I said when did that happen because I had come home that day around 11 11 30 and it was up when I came home and it was about one o'clock when he was knocking on the door and he says not long ago just a little bit ago he apparently they got a call and they were they were notified about the wire across the road so they cut all of my wires, they cut my electric, they cut the old phone line that no longer worked anyways. The cable that they had just put up, they cut that. And they um, had to put a new telephone pole in and so the cable company came today to put the cable back in. So all of you that commented on yesterday's 30 second video, I only gave you hearts because I'm going to tell you the story now. So if you listen to this, you'll know what happened. And I'm going to also be putting in at the end, after I tell you goodbye, I will put in a little video of what I videoed of the poll and what I saw, you'll see. I would have probably done a little more, but then there was one of, this, one of the people came up to me. I don't know who he was. But he wasn't super friendly, so I turned the camera off. And then later on, we were talking to a couple of the guys, and they were really nice and really explaining everything that was going on. And they, they were really good. And the fire chief was really nice, too. When he came to the door, he was very pleasant. And it was, it was surprising. And then um, when I was talking to the electric guys, they said something about flew overhead. What did they say flew overhead? Uh, five B-52 bombers. Five B-52 bombers, which... I had no clue that happened either. I didn't hear it or see it. And also, I guess somebody that was going past them in the work zone was going too fast and the state police pulled them over. So somebody got a ticket yesterday too. So that was something else that happened along with. Well, this morning I got up and I went to the gym thinking I was going to my aerobics class. Well, I didn't know that they canceled the class for today because Tuesday, when they put my internet in, I didn't go to class. And, um, but I went this morning thinking I was going to class. Well, I didn't. And so instead I did my cardio. I rode the bicycle for 10 minutes. Then I did this other, it's like a bicycle, but it's got the arm things where you go back and forth. I did that for 10 minutes and then I went on the elliptical for 10 minutes. So I did 30 minutes. I didn't do any of the hydraulic machines. I decided I would just go home. Well, before I went home, I went to the internet to make sure that they had made an appointment for us because the lady on the phone was kind of, she was okay, but I couldn't get through her head that the telephone pole that fell was in my own yard, and she was thinking that it maybe affected other people. No, it's just me because it's my telephone pole in my yard that belongs to the village, and so they put up a new, new pole. I don't think I have a video of the new poll in the video. No, I don't. I didn't take it. Oh, well, there is a new poll. I won't show you that, but there is a new one. They um, took the old one out and it was rotted. There was only like maybe two inches all the way around that was solid wood. The rest of it inside was all rotted. So the whole inside of that pole was rotted. How long had it been up? It had been up, well, we've lived here almost 40 years and it was long before we moved here that it's that it was up. So it's been up for a many, many years, probably a good 50 or 60 years or more for all I know. I don't know how long it's been there. It's been there a long time. There was another pole in our yard and that, one was, take, that was taken down when we built the barn. They used their big equipment to get that one out. And this one we left because this one belongs to the village and my wires all go to it and connects into the electricity and now the cable. So that's it for today, I guess. Enjoy the little video at the end if you wish. If not, 
I thank you for watching it this far. And I will talk to you all again, maybe not tomorrow. You know, tomorrow I've, oh, I've got a wedding. So I don't know whether I will do a video or not. I will be gone just about the whole day and all of the night pretty much. And so by the time I get back, it would probably be the next day anyways. So possibly, um, that's is it Friday that we go? Yeah, yep, Friday. Friday. It's, an evening wedding. it's an evening wedding. So probably Friday, there might not be a video. If I do put one out, it'll be a surprise. If I don't, and I'll, that means I'll miss my, I didn't miss with the cable down, but I'm going to miss, this is going to be a deliberate miss, but it should be the only one, and then I should be back on track again. So enjoy the little video afterwards, and I'll talk to you all again on Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Think, what day is it going to be? I lose track of days. I'll see you Saturday. Okay, bye-bye. Just yesterday, the cable was put up. And today, we have a telephone pole that is rotted and came down. Like, wow. Here's the pole. Oh my goodness. It is rotted. Wow. And the guys are over there. The thing went across the road. Look at all the commotion in front of my house. Wow. We got the bucket truck. Bucket trucks up there. Fires and things down the road. No traffic coming this way. I'm like, wow. And it fell into our tree. That is amazing. right there. The line goes way up to the house.